Happy New Year, everyone. So today's um, session is going to be a Jeopardy trivia game. Um, it is trivia day, and so I thought it would be fun to do some trivia. Um, but we're gonna do a little bit different Jeopardy. Um, so I'm gonna use Jeopardy questions, um, and I want you to answer them just like you would if you were playing Jeopardy with a question form of an answer. And instead of telling me the topic or category and the amount, I'm just gonna go down and tell you the categories um, that the question falls under. And if you have a dice with you, um, grab that or you can use um, what I roll. So after each question, I am going to roll the dice and that number will signify how much it is worth. Okay, so 100 to 600. Um, or you can pause um, the question um, and answer it and then roll yourself if you have your own dice. But um, So divide up into two teams um, if you would like and let's play some Jeopardy. So on the following slide, I will show you all the categories at once, um, the list of categories, and then we'll get started. Okay, so just like the slide said, the categories are modern kitchen, TV pairs, remembering the late 1970s, Famous first names, afternoon at the movies, 80s, best of Broadway musicals, and then we'll have a final Jeopardy question. Okay, so we're just gonna go down and I'm just going to pick a category, give you the, the answer, um, and give you a chance to respond with a question and then I'll roll the dice after each one. So let's do Modern Kitchen. The accidental discovery is found in most kitchens and is often used to reheat or defrost meals and popcorn. So I'm going to I'm gonna roll that dice. This question is worth 400 points if you are using my rolls. Or you can use your own dice and roll and see um, how much it's worth. So again, the question is, this accidental discovery is found in most kitchens and is often used to reheat or defrost meals and pop popcorn. The answer is, dun, 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 dun. What is the microwave? Did you get it? If you guessed the microwave in question form, your team got 400 points. It says the accidental discovery was made by a Raytheon employee who found the candy bar in his pocket had melted when he was working near an active radar set. Didn't know that. Okay. Question two is going to be from TV Pairs. Batman and his sidekick. Batman and his sidekick. Okay, this question is worth 200 points. Do you know the answer? Remember to form it into a question to get the points. Did you guess who is Robin? 
Robin, who was played by Burt Ward, did you know that? Was in, in contention with Lyle Wagner of the Carol Burnett Show fame for the part. You got that one right. If you guessed Robin, it was worth 200 points. Question number three. Remembering the late 1970s. Debbie Boone's You Light Up Blank was a hit tune. Finish the title of the song. So what's the song title? You Light Up What? It was a hit tune by Debbie Boone. And this question, I'm rolling is worth 400 points. Okay, for 400 points, what, finish the song lyric. You light up blank. If you said, what is my life? You were right. It hit the top 10 in 1977. Who knows that song? You light up my life. Okay, we're gonna stick with this category, remembering the late 1970s. And the next question. Most states begin allowing right-hand turns in this instance while driving after a complete stop. Most states began allowing right-hand turns in this instance while driving after a complete stop. Okay, if you get this answer or this question right, it is worth 200 points. 200 point question. Remember to form it in a question, form your answer into a question. Does anyone know the answer? If you guessed what is on the red light, you are correct and you got 200 points. It says drivers must yield to traffic before turning right though. So they stop at a red light, but then they must yield to traffic. But if it's clear, then they can turn right on red. It says by 1980, all 50 states, Washington DC and Guam allowed right turns on red. Okay, how are you doing? How many points do you guys have so far? The next question. Pfeiffer, Obama, and Guam. Remember, this is from the category famous first names. If you get this, if you get this question right, it is worth 300 points. 300 points if you get this question right. I'll read the question again. Pfeiffer, Obama, and Quan. So it looks like it must be a first name. So what is the first name of Pfeiffer, Obama, and Quan? If you guessed Michelle, then you got 300 points. Okay, so the next question comes from Best of Broadway Musicals. The tune, Memory, comes from this long-running Andrew Lord Webber musical. So the tune, Memory, comes from what Broadway show? Okay, this question is worth 600 points. 600 points is, this question is worth. Okay, do you have your answer? 
The tune Memory comes from the Broadway show, What is Cats? If you got it right, it's worth 600 points. Theaters in New York and London were filled with Andrew Lloyd Webber musicals during the 80s. Cat is based on the poems in T.S. Eliot's book, Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats. Okay, the next question comes from the category, An 80s Afternoon at the Movies. Michael J. Fox played the teenager who time travels into the past in a DeLorean time machine invented by scientists in the night. 1985 film, Back to the... Okay, let's roll that dice. It's worth 400 points. Again, Michael J. Fox played a teenager who time travels into the past in DeLorean. And the 1985 film, Back to the w Blank. Do you think you have the answer? Have you seen this movie before? The answer is, what is future? Fox plays Marty McFly, and he told fellow cast members at a reunion that strangers still call him McFly today. Okay, we're going to go back to the beginning, the first category, the modern kitchen. If you like your morning coffee to have peak flavor, you probably have one of these small appliances to prepare your coffee beans. Okay, let's roll that dice. This question is worth 500 points if you're using my rolls. Okay, okay, what appliance is a must if you like your morning coffee to have peak flavor? If you guess coffee grinder, you are right and you got 500 points. When you grind your own coffee, you control the size of the grind which means the level of intensity of flavor. Okay, we're gonna stick with Modern Kitchen. and We're gonna, the next question. This small appliance sucks air out of food packages to keep foods fresh longer. Okay, okay let's roll that dice. This question is worth 400 points. 400 points. Okay, what, what small appliance sucks air out of food packages to keep foods fresher longer? If you guessed, using it in question form, what is vacuum sealer? You are correct. And you just earned yourself 400 points. The expense of the vacuum still used to be over $100, but has fallen to less than $50 today. The expense now lies in the specialty plastic bags that are required to seal. Okay. We're going to go to remembering the late 1970s. Let's see. This disease for which we used to take vaccinations was erected in North America. This disease for which we used to take vaccinations was eradicated, sorry, eradicated in North America. Okay, this question's worth 200 points. 200 point question. What disease for which we used to take vaccinations was eradicated in North America? 
If you said, what is smallpox? You are correct. Smallpox had its orig origins during the Egyptian Empire in the third century BC. Smallpox, smallpox is still a problem in Africa, Asia, and South America today. Afternoon at the movies, 1980s. The question is, Dustin Hoffman stars in this 1982 film about an actor who doubles as a daycare female soap opera actress. He plays the dual role of Michael Dorsey and Dorothy Michaels. Okay, okay, let's roll the dice and see how many points it's worth if you guess it right. Let me roll that again. 300 points is what I rolled. 300 points. Okay. What 1982 film did Dustin Hoffman play in? Did you say what is Tootsie? If you did, you were correct. Tootsie was the name of Dustin Hoffman's mother's dog. Hoffman passed himself off as a woman at his daughter's school in preparation for the audition. Okay, in this category, the TV pairs, B.J. Hunicut and his best war buddy on M.A.S.H. B.J. Hunicut and his best war buddy on M.A.S.H. Okay, this question is worth 600 points. 600 points. Okay, how many of you watched MASH? And maybe still do the reruns. I know I used to watch it. So, Hunnicutt's best war buddy on MASH was... Who is Hawkeye Pierce? Did you remember to put the who and use it in a question form? Before Mike Farrell joined the cast, Trapper John Wayne Rogers was Hawkeye's sidekick. Oh, okay, the next question comes from famous first names. Downey Jr., Redford, and De Niro. So all these three share a first name. Okay, let's roll that dice and see how much it's worth. What did it roll? Let's see. 500 points. If you guess Robert, you're right. Did you know that Robert Redford is 85 years old and has been in show business for eight decades? That's a long time. Okay, the next question is from an afternoon at the movies, 80s. The answer is, in this 1989 film, Kevin Costner stars as Ray Kinsella, an Iowa farmer. He hears the words, if you build it, he will come, and interprets those words as meaning he should build a baseball field in his cornfield. Oh, okay, if you get this right, it is worth 500 points. Do you know what movie Kevin Costner played in in 1989 where he interpreted the phrase, if you build it, he will come as building a baseball field in his cornfield? What movie was it? For 500 points, it is What is Field of Dreams? In the movie, Kinsella's actions allowed the 1919 White Sox players who were banned from baseball to come back to play another day. In real life, the 1919 White Sox, known as the Black Sox, 
allegedly through the World Series. I didn't know that. Okay, this question comes from the Broadway musicals. This Bob Fosse Broadway musical about the jazz era is set in the Windy City. For 300 points. If you get this question right, it's worth 300 points. Okay, the answer is... What is Chicago? All that jazz is one of the recordings from the soundtrack. This next question comes from TV Pairs. Frazier and his brother. Okay, if you get this question right, it is worth 200 points. For 200 points, the answer is, who is Niles? Both characters are psychiatrists and both originally appeared in Cheers and reprised their roles in Frasier. Did you know that? Okay, two more questions. This one comes from Remembering the late 1970s. This New York team won the World Series in both 1977 and 1978. And if you get this question right, it is worth 100 points. For 100 points, the correct answer is... What is the New York Yankees? The Yankees won more than a quarter of the World Series in the 100 years between 1921 and 2021, which is 27 times. That's quite a few more wins than any other MLPB team. Okay, this is our last question before Final Jeopardy. So make sure you tally up your points before Final Jeopardy. Shirley MacLaine and Jack Nicholson star in this 1983 movie as next door neighbors. She's a mother with mother-daughter problems and he's a retired astronaut. Okay, for this, this final question, it is worth 600 points. Okay, if you get this question right, it is worth 600 points to your team. The correct answer is, what is terms of endearment? Did you get it right? Many of the scenes between McLean and Nicholson were impro improvised. Okay, so tally up your team's points. And listen to five and make your bids of how much you're going to wager. And I will give you the final Jeopardy question. Okay, have you made your wagers? Okay, here's final Jeopardy question. I'll come back was the original line in the script for this 1984 film. Before it was changed to the iconic line, I'll be back. Okay, so how much did your team wager? Write that wager down. And then write down your answer. Make sure you put it in question form. Okay, the answer to the final Jeopardy question is... I hope you wrote down your answers in question form, as well as your wager. The answer is, what is the Terminator? Arnold Schwarzenegger's famous line might not have it tur turned into his iconic tagline if the script hadn't changed. I know, do you think I'll come back would have stuck 
as much as I'll Be Back has through the years? How many of you got it right? Did you lose all your points? Did you lose some points or did you gain some points? I hope you had fun with this Jeopardy trivia game um, in honor of Trivia Day. Um, and thanks for tuning in.